Hello children. Now today in this video we will start the new topic. Yes, before coming to the topic, let's get the introduction. Hmm? So the word which tells you that what work is being done by the subject in the sentence, what do we call that word? So let's take an example. Like the boy played in the playground. The boy played in the playground. So first check out the subject. Who played in the playground? The boy. So next question. What did the boy do? Hmm? What work the boy was doing in this sentence? The boy played. Hmm? Boy khela. Usne apna khelne ka kaam kiya. So this word played is the particular word that tells you what the subject has done in the sentence. So what do we call this word? We will call it verb. So today we will study about verbs and kinds of verbs. So the words that tell us the work done by the subject in the sentence is called the verb. What the work has been done in the sentence is called a verb. Okay. So now it comes to the kinds of verbs. So the kinds of verbs can be uh, classified on the basis of two concepts. First one is on the basis of the relation of the verb with the object in the sentence. Hmm? And second one is on the basis of the relation of the verb with the subject in the sentence. Hmm? So when we are learning verbs, the verb has two concepts in the sentence. First, the verbs tell us about the work done, what work has been done. And secondly, when the work has been done. Okay. So in this video, in the beginning of our topic work, we will learn about the first concept that is what work has been done in the sentence. Okay. The concept of when we will do in the next time. So kinds of verbs. First, we will take the kinds of verb on the basis of the relation of the verb with the object in the sentence. Okay. So kinds of verb. Kinds of verb on the basis of the relation of the verb with the object. Correct? So we will take this concept first. Hmm? So on the basis of the relation of the verb with the object in the sentence, the verb can be classified into the work can be divided into two kinds, right? So, here, like this. The first kind is transitive verbs. And the second is intransitive verbs. verbs. So, on the basis of the relation of the verb with the object in the sentence, the verbs can be, can be classified in two kinds, that is the transitive verbs and the intransitive verbs. So, let's uh, discuss the transitive verb first of all, okay? Come on. So, what are the transitive verbs? As we have taken the relation of the verb with the object, so when the verb requires the object in the sentence to make the complete sense, when the object is required in the sentence by the verb to make the complete sense, that word is called the transitive verb. 
when any object any object is required in the sentence the verb is considered as the uh, transitive verb and when the verb does not require any object in the sentence for the completion of the sense of the sentence the verbs are called intransitive verbs correct like transitive verbs and here we have intransitive verbs right so let's explain both the terms with one or two examples like first here we need the object the baby cries for her mother hmm? or you can say the boy killed the snake the baby cries for her mother the boy killed the snake so in the first sentence the word cries is the verb what the baby is doing the baby is crying what the baby does the baby cries so cries is the verb in the sentence and this verb needs the object in the sentence to make the complete sense similarly the boy killed the snake what did the boy do the boy killed now if you write only the boy killed so the sense of the sentence is not complete what did the boy do the boy killed who Huh? So the object is required here. So the boy killed. Killed is the verb. The boy killed the snake. Now here, if we write the sun shines. Suraj chamakta hai. The sun shines. The sun is the subject, and shines is the verb. What does the sun do? The sun shines. and this verb uh, shines does not require any object for the complete sense so this is the example of intransitive verb correct and uh, next we can also take the man died the man died aadmi mar gaya ha so it makes the sense that what happened to the man the man died we can put the another question hmm? so uh, what happened to the man the man died so what was the reason the man died of so and so reason but here the sentence is in its complete sense that what happened to the man the man died so this is the particular differentiation between the transitive verbs and the intransitive verbs correct now when we are uh, learning about the relation of the verb with the object in the sentence there is another term which cannot be classified as the kind of a verb but this term should be known this term term should be known by the students like the term is complement what is a complement the complement is that part of the predicate which is directly in connection with the verb when we have the object in the sentence and if the object is directly connected if the object directly reflects the verb in the sentence that object or the word or the part of the predicate is called the complement okay let's take the example the old man met the stranger okay and the second sentence the old man seems happy so the old man met the stranger 
what the old man did the old man met the stranger ek ajnabi se ek anjan aadmi se mila met met is the verb here so this verb and the part of the predicate that is the object we are talking about they have no connection hmm? but in the second sentence the old man seems happy old man kaisa dikhta hai have seems the verb seems kaisa dikhta hai happy so this happy is directly connected with the verb hmm? how he is looking he is looking happy so this predicate this part of the sentence which is called the object or the part of the predicate is directly connected with the verb hmm? so this will be the complement okay so we are having so many examples like the king came to the palace huh? so came to the palace so palace is not directly connected with the verb came but if we say the king was pleased with the uh, work so this work is the part of the predicate which is directly connected with the verb pleased okay so these are the examples of complement in the next video we will classify the verbs on the basis of the relation of the verb with the subject in the sentence Thank you so much.